Hmm. Okay. I've been giving this one an awful lot of thought. Probably too much thought, actually. What do you call a collection of Invictuses? Because Invictuses don't sound right to me. Maybe it's a bit like the word sheep. You don't say I have a field of sheeps. You just say I have a field of sheep. So do I say I have a collection of Invictus? You're gonna say, no, Nicky, that sounds like just one. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, hours and hours of thought power on this one. I have come to a conclusion. I have a collection of Invicti. That's the plural. Invicti is the plural of Invictus. Okay, crazy. And you can say, Lecky, mate, mate, you are talking more rubbish than a wheelie bin. All right, I don't really have an argument against that. I probably am talking more rubbish than a wheelie bin. But the most important thing is you are here. That is the most important thing. And this is good because I can share a fragrance with you and I can inspire you to wear it every single day. Not the same one, vary it, but at least wear a fragrance every day. You know what? All right, this is a crazy channel. I'm a random guy. This channel is not monetized. I'm not sponsored. Literally, this is me from my heart inspiring you to wear a good fragrance every day. Sharing fragrances, maybe able to give you a few hints, a few tips and a few thoughts and whatever. I'm not an influencer. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a regular random guy with a passion and a desperation to pass on that passion to you. So, you know what? It is one thing being able to buy a clone of a fragrance, a fragrance which is current, which is available. You can go and buy the real thing. But here's the thing. When you can buy a clone of a discontinued fragrance, for me personally, that is on a different level. And you're gonna say, Leggy, mate, it isn't significant. To me, this is, because I had a bottle of this fragrance and the reason why I don't is because it's finished, it's gone, it's over, and the manufacturer, who we are talking about, Packer Rabanne, have said, nah, right, okay. This is the problem, you and I, we get kind of hooked on these fragrances, we love them, we wear them, and then we come to buy them and they've discontinued them. They've decided that this fragrance, in their infinite wisdom, this fragrance has had its day, it's done its job, it's made their money, and they've decided to cut it off in its prime. Which one are we talking about? We are talking about Invictus Legend or legend, whichever way you want to say it. Okay, okay. Honestly, it was a fantastic fragrance. It was a fantastic flanker. And I'm going to say to you that realistically, Invictus Legend for me was the closest of all the Invicti, the closest to the original Invictus, okay? Fair play to Fragrance World. A massive hats off, incredible this is. Fragrance World do this. Invicto legend or legend, whichever way you want to go on that one. Okay, this, I bought this one on eBay. I've had it for a while, as you can see. Man, I can't believe how much I've used. I have hammered this one because this one, I love it. Okay, and I was, Gutted, seriously, absolutely gutted when Packer Aban said, nah, not doing this one anymore. So, I've had it, I've worn it a lot, and let me try and tell you about it. Well, first of all, let me tell you, I bought this on eBay UK. It cost me 23 British pounds. It is the 100 mil. It is the Eau de Parfum, and it is made by Fragrance World United Arab Emirates. Cap comes off. And let's spray. Now, I will say, and I don't bother normally talking about the packaging, the sprayer is lame. It literally just does a little okay? And then when you finish spraying, if you shake it, it's like as though it, the fragrance gets caught in the rim. And that's, I mean, you don't waste it, right? You literally have to flip the rest onto your arm or your neck or whatever you're doing. So the actual sprayer on my particular bottle is rubbish, okay? A bit like what I talk all the time. No, I didn't say that. Right, Invicto Legend. What is it all about? 
<laughs> okay, like I say, for me, this Invictus Legend of all the Invicti is the closest to the original. And basically what you get is all of the original notes turned up. Okay, so it's ridiculously sweet, it's ridiculously bubblegummy, it's ridiculously sort of salty, and it's ridiculously woody. It is literally like they have pumped this one up. Okay, so if you like the original Invictus, trust me, you will absolutely love Invictus Legend because it is just more of the same, but more of it, if that makes any kind of sense. Okay, it's still got the bubblegum vibe, but the bubblegum vibe is a lot sort of sweeter and more piercing than in the original. It still has the sort of salty sea sort of vibe, okay, but once again, that is even more sort of piercing and sweet and watery, okay? In the middle, they have put some geranium. Now, the geranium is awesome in this one. It just gives it a tangy sort of floral in the middle. And then at the bottom, you drop down to some nice sweet amber. Okay, this Invicto Legend, this is absolutely crazy. And tell you, uh, no, I tell you, you tell me, I'll tell you the performance that I can say hand on heart because I'm pretty much halfway down this bottle. This performance is as good as the original Pacaraban was. Seriously, the original Pacaraban, because of the nature of this fragrance, because it is so sweet and so light and so airy and so summery, it kind of has a piercing projection and it does for. Seriously, for this, the Fragrance World one, for an hour and a half, this is coming off you like there's no tomorrow. Seriously, it really does project well. And I say, it's not, uh, because it's like the same as the, very similar to the original Invictus, but sort of pumped up, that doesn't mean it's got heavier or denser. This has got even more lighter and more sweeter and more piercinger, if that makes sense. It doesn't make it any more dense. This Invicto Legend, this one, which is so, so, so close to the original. Now, unfortunately, I don't still have a bottle of it. My bottle's gone, finished, game over, all right? But from memory, this, honestly. And the crazy thing is, a lot of these clones, you have to go through like a bit of a chemical, bit of an alcohol. This one, you are straight into Invicto Legend. This, seriously. This is perfect in the warmer weather. Now I've worn this in both the warm and the cold and kind of like, it kind of works either way. But this is such a summery, sort of light, piercingly sweet kind of vibe. I don't think, no, I've sprayed this for loads of people and not one person, male, female, young or old, not one person said that they didn't like it. Okay, the females love it. They wouldn't want to wear it themselves, although it is kind of piercingly sweet. And some people may say, oh, maybe it's a bit unisex. It isn't. It's ridiculously sweet, as indeed is the original Invictus, but it is a very masculine kind of sweetness, if any of that makes sense. Okay, the performance. This fragrance world, I say for an hour and a half, this is coming off you. This is projecting nicely. Okay, and then it doesn't just go skin scent. For another hour, it's radiating gently off you. Clothes, right? You will detect this on clothes the following day. And skin, you will, the next morning, you'll just about detect this on your skin the next morning. And I'm gonna say, hand on heart, this would be perfect for your summer fragrance. Okay, absolutely perfect. What age could wear this? Trust me, this is kind of ageless. Absolutely ageless. Because a teenager could dead easy wear this one and so could an older guy in his 80s, in his 90s. This is just gorgeous. Okay, and I'm gonna say, 
I have so much respect for Fragrance World, looking around and saying, you know, tell you what, let's not just do clones of ones that you can buy, let's do a clone of a discontinued fragrance. Because there's loads of people out there, probably like you and me, who got into Invictus Legend and were left high and dry. Fair play to Fragrance World. They've plugged that gap and they haven't just done it in a half-hearted way. Trust me, this will mesmerise you. The performance, the smell, the smell is spot on. Right? I cannot tell you any differences between this and the original Legend. In terms of the performance, absolutely solid. In terms of the value, I mean £23. It was one of those times where I sort of, I looked at it and I put it in my watch list on eBay and a day later the seller sent me an email saying, notice that you showed interest, offer you a 6 or 7% discount and it came down to £23 British pounds. Honestly, is it worth it? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, right. I really, really appreciate you coming to this channel. You know, you've found me and I've been able to share a fragrance, maybe giving you a few thoughts, a few ideas and whatever, but most of all, I'm here to ask you, please, please, please choose a good fragrance and wear a good fragrance every single day, no matter what you're doing, no matter who you're going to be with, no matter what place you're going to, just wear a good fragrance. Trust me, you will have so much better a day. And I'm sure that's a word. Okay, right. If you would give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome because that thumbs up keep me going. Drop me a comment if you want to chat, we'll do that. And please, please, please come back for the next review because all being well, there'll be another one. Okay, because I've got plenty more to share with you. Seriously, I've got so many fragrances to share with you. And in the meantime, please, please, please stay safe. Wherever you are on this planet, please stay safe. And promise me, Please promise me that you will choose a good fragrance, whichever one you choose, and you'll do that sort of thing every day. Please, please, please do it before you go to work. Please do it while you're at work. Do it at lunchtime. Do it in your break time. Do it after your shower in the evening. Do it before you go to the gym. Do it after the gym. Whenever. Please keep spraying. And trust me, you will have so much better a day. I'm going to love you and leave you now. Good night and goodbye.